Hey YouTube, Dan Otto here coming at you with uh, what's going to be my last Retro Cup team. I've got another one coming tomorrow from a viewer, and then we're getting into Kanto Cups. So this team is, I, th I think, more fun than strong, quite honestly. And I wanted to try, I wanted to count a user, right? Because there was just way too many normal typings out there. And then I wanted to try uh, Beware, because I have not played with it yet. And I it was saying there, I'm like, Shadow Claw and Superpower is kind of like a nice combo and payback, right? Because Shadow Claw and Payback will hit well on all the ghosts and psychic that you see. And then the superpower with all the normal type So I'm like, that's great. And I also wanted to use Galvantula because I said in my video on Friday or Thursday, Friday, that Galvantula is a great answer for the spider bike and Oranguru, which are everywhere, right? So having that to get to beat those and a counter user. So I thought that works overall. The team, um, like I like the thought of the team more than the application of the team. And I'm going to show you why in these battles. So I lose a couple, uh, I lose more than a couple, but I can show you why. And it's just that the Galvantula and Beware are just too glossy, right? So amazing matchup here because they got resisted claws, but a C-bomb already take me pretty low, right? So I got to throw the move here. So the good news is this is such like a dominating lead matchup here. So I'll take this out with the payback, goodbye. They come in with the spider bug, which is perfect because that's what I want the alignment on, on my uh, Galvantula. So I'm just going to hit the, with the payback here. Get it off. Okay, champ damage, right? Like, it, beware if you haven't used it, it is extremely good glass cannony. <laughs> so just beware that's a bit weak. And that's kind of the drawback was Galvantula is also a bit glass cannony, if that's a word. Uh, so you need to be aware that both of them together can cause you, you just get out bulked sometimes like all my team bulks so Gavanja comes in beautiful uh i think everything's resisted but i'm just gonna sh shield anyways i mean bubble beam is resisted but i'm just gonna shield and out comes a wall rain love to see it i'm just gonna lower their attack and come in counter easy win here pretty much hard counter not much they can do here for the win and this next matchup we got Dragonite. So I think this is maybe one where you're, uh, I'm going to go to Galvantula. So Gav Galvantula is my safe swap. But even as my safe swap, look at that, right? The Shadow Dragonite just took me down to the yellows just with these Dragon Claws. And they catch on a Reggie Rock. And I saw quite a few Reggie Rocks while I was playing with Galvantula, which is rough, right? Because the, the, um, you just get lit up by these stone edges. So this is going to go down. I'm now at the point where I'm like, okay, I got to just come in Metachamp, take any move, because I think both moves, Stone Edge and probably Focus Blast, are resisted. So I can take any move, get a bunch of energy, because if the Dragon comes back on, I need to start throwing some Ice Punches at it. So down it goes. Maybe they're like running an ABB in the back, double weak. So yeah, they are running an ABB. I've got a ton of energy. I'm just going to throw the Psychic, maybe take this out. Not take it out, but like do some good chip damage that I can just claw down later. Um, I think I can take this move. Yeah, so I let it go and I can counter down before they get me. I'm going to bank that. And the good news is these claws do add up. So what I'm actually just going to do here is just probably just try for the full claw down and force them to throw here. Or well, maybe now because I have two ice punches, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bank it. I'm going to start grabbing some shield because... They're going to need to throw. I was going to take it out. I do take it out. Get a move back there. So it's pretty... Shadow Claw Super Power is a nice like combo glass of uh, like speed there. So that would have taken it out. Put it low enough. Have the Ice Punch. Just going to throw it. Take it out for the win. So a little more jumping around there. But as you can see, like Galvantula is a safe swap. And I'm going to a couple losses coming up here. Is I like Galvantula in this. I don't think I'd pair it with Beware just because they're both glassy. So good lead here. They're going to get out into their Altaria. And this team does not really have an answer for Altaria, which is unfortunate, right? Because these Dragon Breasts do a lot of damage. These Sky Attacks is a lot of damage. It's super bulky. It's half Dragon, so it's the Electrics are only doing neutral. The counters are going to be resisted. So Altaria, most of my losses today, not most of my losses, but a lot of my losses with Altaria were when work teams with Altaria and then I try to bait here thinking like it'll take it out or there's shield to keep switch and they let it go and I'm like okay so now I just lost switch and I'm down a shield so this game's over already 
So come back and beware. I'm like, maybe I know they have the frost glass on the front. Maybe they have something on the back too that I can just hit superpower with. And it is a counter user. So I'm going to just go for bank it. Come in here. Um, yeah, but this game's already over. They're up a shield. So there's not much I can do here. Sorry, I just got a message I need to respond to because I'm like double dutying everything because I'm filming this in advance. Um, because I am off on vacation, as you guys know, but I have all the videos done in advance. So you guys can have a lot of videos coming to you. Tomorrow, I like the Frost Last team. That was a viewer submitted team. And then Wednesday, I'm going over Cancel Cup teams. All my Cancel Cup teams that I have done. Um, like my five strongest that I have put out. And then it's Cancel Cup and Ultra League. And I was looking through submissions because I can't get ahead on, like I can't, like I'll be gone. So I can't uh, do, like upload any videos. So Thursday, Friday, you're going to get one Cancel Cup team from viewer submitted. I like the team, double bulk. And then one Ultra League team for Friday. And then I'll be back Saturday that I can start filming again next week for a few days before I leave Thursday for a wedding. I'm in, the wedding is in New Hampshire. And down in that area is the regional Pokemon Buf, Bufano, I don't, Bufons? I don't want to say Bufons, but um, yeah. So I'm, I'm hoping that I can get one of those just because knockout, because I do not have many regionals because like I said, I do not travel much. Two kids, full-time job pandemic like you're just not traveling much uh but we'll see so let's go over each individual piece here because i'm actually going to use i went back to my one team uh which was deox uh greedent and zangoose so if you have a zangoose zangoose is better than beware in my opinion because you have uh you're basically switching the charge move both have shadow claw both are super attack heavy and glass cannony but you have a night slash which is a super super fast charging move and there's a lot of psychic and ghost in this so i'd rather have that fast move and then close combat which is just a nuke of a charge move uh so you can hit that too but as you can see here getting the super power pretty quick for something that's super effective also very nice so beware has its play too but again if you want just like a shadow claw fighter with coverage for fighter and dark like you can use beware you can use zangoose uh zangoose doesn't take super effective like this is already lost i can tell because i lost the lead to oranguru who has the confusion which does super effective and now i'm in against reggie rock which will have the stone edge so i think i shield once and then try and grab a shield back but damage is already done i lost lead lost switch here so not much I can do. Um, so yeah, you can use Zangus, you can use Beware. Is there any other sort of claw? Um, normal cast form runs Hex, Double Weather Ball, uh, Normal type Weather Ball, and a Rock type Weather Ball. And man, that thing is so spammy as well. Uh, I ran into a couple times now. I think it was against like a Greedent. And it, even though the Hex was resisted, it still took me down to the yellow. Like, it is a pretty strong Pokemon. So one worth considering if you want like a normal spammy, like a uh, ghost type fast move. In terms of Galvantula, I put Galvantula in to take this out because it has the dish, the Lunge, which does super effective here. And it does the Discharge, which is super effective against the Water Bug. And it's just pretty spammy. There's no real steals to, um, not steals. Uh, yeah, I guess the, I was just thinking like Bastion, but that seems like Steel Rock, right? To just like cause it a lot of trouble. So that's why I like it as a safe swap. A little glassy, as you saw. Um, and then uh, obviously Metachamp is Metachamp. Why I'm running Metachamp instead of Deox on the D on my old line Deox Orangaroo is no not is deox greed and uh zangoose is because of oranguru right you trade off resisting the psychics or confusions 
on Deox, but taking super effective from the foul plays versus taking neutral from the from the confusions, but taking normal, like neutral from the foul plays. So that was the main trade off between the two. And like I said, mine's already excelled at level 50, so I might as well just use it. Um, any other counter users? Like Deox and Metachamp, depending. There's only like three real counter users in this that I've seen. Deox, Metachamp, and Vigoroth. And Vigoroth, why you'd use Vigoroth is um, for its spamminess, for starters. You'd also use it if you don't think there are a lot of counter users in this because the problem with Deox and Metachamp is obviously there's a lot of ghosts in this. Like I ran into Frostlass so many times. So the Frostlasses are everywhere. Um, things with uh, like Lick Tongues with, I mean, you do well with the counters, but like Lick does super effective back at you. And then... So if you want something that resists the ghost with the normal typing and you don't think there's going to be a lot of counter users, use a Vigoroth. Um, this matchup, if you would come in here, like, so this is why I have, like, Metachamp's fine here. You can't throw a Psychic, but you can throw Ice Punch. And that's why, like, if you had a Vigoroth, it'd be a little more glassy, but you'd spam those Body Slams pretty quickly. So you probably take this matchup anyways with the Vigoroth. Plus, I want to, like, Foul Play won't take me out, but I'm going to Shield anyways. So that is how I would modify this team if you want to try some sort of variation of it. And then we get some lag here, which probably is unlucky for them. They come up with their beware, and then I can just spam, and then I'll have a superpower on my back end coming out here. I could probably just shield, but maybe I'll just let it go and just farm down because they're going to have to throw something. Yeah, and then they're drawing energy. So I can just farm down. But they get him to a move, and I'm like, I don't know how much energy they have because I don't count, so let's just go back back superpower for the win here. That's the team. Like I said, that's how I'd modify it. Your main weaknesses, like Altaria caused me huge problems. Uh, just general glassiness, anything that has a lot of bulk is going to cause you some problems on the Galvantula switch in. As a, I like Galvantula as a safe swap, but again, you're going to need to like potentially use some shields on it. So that's the team. Um Hope you're, I guess I'm posting this on Monday, even though I'm shooting on Friday. So I hope your community day went well. I am going to be only playing because we're leaving at 1 p.m. on Saturday. So I got to be home at like 12 30, 12 to like, so I'm playing for like an hour. <laughs> so I'm hoping that I can grind pretty hard in that hour, get lucky. Um, and yeah, hope your community day went well. And then uh, we will see you guys in the next one.